How's she going right there, eh? It's Denis here from Denis Loge Outdoors. Back at working on the outdoor kitchen. Um, so I've been working on this, haven't been working on this for a couple of days. Uh, actually the wife and I went up to the cabin site and spent a couple of nights up there. Um, we got to lay out where this kitchen's gonna go and exactly where the cabin's gonna go. And uh, so next time I'll head up there with the uh, tractor and I'll uh, work at getting the base completed for this kitchen and for the cabin. Um, so I also wanted to uh, get these floor joists kind of cut in. Um, it took a little while because um, I redid them. I actually first originally and then the last video I had a bunch of cedar uh, logs that weren't wide enough so I thought I'd mill them and use that but uh, they were too springy. Um, so these are spruce. Uh, they're three by fours, 16 inches on center. And uh, there will be a girder in the middle. Um, and then they'll be resting on the girder in the center. So, yeah, so I didn't get much on the logs um, done. So this one bottom log, it's a lot lighter. So it, uh, it was touching right in here. And uh, so what I did is I had to cut the gap with the chainsaw and then I just dressed it back up. Um, I have fitted the joints better. Um, everything's kind of still just moving around. Um, obviously, I don't want to lock this in or screw them in. So on the final setup up at the log cabin site, um, obviously, I'm not sure if I'm going to drill these in with timber lock screws or how I'm going to do that yet. Um, I'm noticing that I am having a little bit of a gap on the bottom, but uh, I think I have to pound that bottom sill log in, and I can't do that now because of... Uh, these floor joists are a tad too long so what I'll do is I'll just trim them up a little bit and then I can hammer them back. Um, so I believe um, what we're going to do is trying to keep my shadow out of here. Um, I'm going to put one more log on both of these sides um, but before I do that I have to put one back log. I'll, I'll do that which is the one that's on the sawhorse right now. And then I'll do two side logs, and I think that may be as high up as I go. And I got to make sure that this, these two side logs, I only cut the bottom notch. Because um, I want the top to come right out here. And then have the option if I want to mill that log and if it's high enough. I think I want to have about 28 inches or so from the floor up to the top log. So that if you're sitting inside on uh, in a chair on the floor, um, you have lots of room to be able to see out uh, above the log wall and see the lake and all that kind of stuff. So, um, like I was saying, I want this to be flat. And then on the very corner, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut two pieces of two by four, four inches. And I'm going to screw them on top of each other and make like a four by four right here. And then I'm going to have another beam or a post, column post. And I'm going to make that an eight by eight. And then I'm going to have it overhang on the end here, two inches. And then it'll go in here six inches. And uh, then I'll uh, cut a pocket or a keyhole in the bottom of that post so that'll set right down on top of that then i can screw it in to hold it and then eventually if i want to i can drill and pound wooden pegs in here and then i think maybe what i'll do is i'll cut that on a slash to kind of match um, the corners so i'll put four posts um, i'm still not sure on how high i'm going to make them um, i do want this uh, the roof line to be pretty high up and it's going to be a 12 by 12 pitch anyhow that's kind of like the plan what I'm uh, thinking of doing there now um, 
it's come along not too bad like I was saying in the other video I've never done this kind of joint work before um, I'm actually pleased with the way it's turning out and then obviously all of these gaps down in here will be um, what you do is you tack in a wire lath and then I will uh, grout that joint and then the other joint and then any of the gaps that are in there I'll just mortar those and so the, the two bottom or three bottom gaps all the way around will be chinked with mortar so that I can uh, inside and out so I can practice doing this before I do the cabin and yeah that's the plan um, like I said hopefully in the next couple of weeks I'll have more progress um, have the base done up at the cabin site uh, I'm gonna pour probably four to six uh, concrete base for this to sit on and then I'll disassemble this whole thing and haul it up there anyhow that's it for now so if you could like share subscribe comment thanks for watching that's the end there eh?